Use the binomial table to calculate the following binomial probability. The probability that x is greater than or equal to 10 for n equals 15 and p equals 0.5. Remember, p is the probability of success, right? Okay, so what I want to do is talk to you about this problem in detail, um, like we did in the last video. In the last video, we explained how this is supposed to be done in one way. I want to make uh, more points about that idea now here. So again, we're looking for the probability that x is greater than or equal to 10. Well, the type of problem our table can do, our table can only answer directly this problem. We can only answer, answer directly this kind of a problem probability that x is less than or equal to some number k, right? Some integer k. That's the only type of problem it can do. So it can't do greater than or equal to directly. It can't do less than. It can't do greater than directly. It can only do greater than or equal to. So let's talk about the different ways that you will solve this problem under different scenarios. So in the case of, you know, looking at uh, when n is 15, I'm going to draw a little drawing here. Let's say we have the number 0, 1, 2, dot, 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 right? All the way up to, say, 9, 10, 11, dot, 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 up to 14, comma, 15, right? So these are all the possibilities, right? If you have 15 trials, if n is 15, you can have no successes, one success, two successes, dot, 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 9, 10, or 11 successes, all the way up to 15 successes, right? And the total probability for all of this is 100%, right? The total sum is 100%. So let's talk about the scenarios where you're looking at um, different things, like the probability, for example, that x is greater than or equal to 10. In order to answer that question, you can't do it directly because the problem, the table only gives you from a number you look up down to zero, right? So if I looked up 10, I would get from 10 to zero, but that's not what I want. I want greater than or equal to 10. I want to include 10 in my answer and I want to go from here to here, right? That's what I want. So if I give it 10, the table's going to give me 10 down to zero. That's not what I want. I want from 10 up to 15. So I got to find a way to trick it. And the way to trick it is to say, well, look, all the probability of all these events adds up to 1. So if I subtract from 1 this part, the part I don't want, right, which is basically the probability that x is less than or equal to 9, then I would be left with this part from 10 to 15. And it turns out, of course, as you can see, that 1 minus the probability of x less than or equal to 9 can be done with the table because 1 is just a constant. And this is the exact structure of this, the type of problem my table can do. So I have to use this to get my answer. And if you look at the pattern here, so basically when the problem says greater than or equal to, you do 1 minus the probability of 9 here instead of 10. You look up 1 less than that number on the table. So 1 minus probability of x is less than or equal to that number minus 1. And that ha that's how you solve it, basically. That's the pattern. So for example, if I wanted to do probability that x was greater than or equal to 14, I would do 1 minus the probability x is less than or equal to 13. Just one number less than it. So hopefully that sinks in. If you want to do other problems, like the probability x is less than 10, remember it doesn't do less than 10, right? It does less than or equal to a number. So if you want to do less than 10, remember less than 10 would be from 9 to 0. You've got to give it 9, because that way it'll go from 9 down to 0, right? If you want to do the probability that it was greater than 10, greater than 10 for this problem would actually be from 11 to 15. That means you have to give it x is less than or equal to 10 to 0, and then do 1 minus that answer to get your solution. So there are different ways to make the table work for you. In this particular problem, though, because it's greater than or equal to, the trick is 1 minus the probability of x is less than or equal to one number less than the number you have here, so in this case, 9. All right, so if that makes sense to you, then let's go to our table. Let's look up k is equal to 9 under n is equal to 15 and p is equal to 0.5. Some tables use k for this number, they use c for this number, but basically they always use n and p otherwise. So just look up the number 9, it's the only other table, number on the table, whether your table says c or k or whatever, right? All that matters is that this will be n, this will be p, and the third number is the number that you're looking up there. And so, you know, these two numbers at least are always named the same thing. And, you know, the other number left over is the number we're talking about, whether they call it K or C or Y or whatever.
Okay, so we're on the binomial table looking at n is equal to 15. We're going to be in the 0.5 column, and we're going to want to go down to where k is equal to 9. So this is the value 0 0.849, 0 0.849. Okay, so the table gave us 0.849, so our answer becomes 1 minus 0.849, because this part was the 0 0.849. And then we just have to do our subtraction, so we'll get... Uh, 0.151 or about 15.1%.